What's up, DNA gang? Y'all know the name. How y'all doing the today? Day. Today we bringing back Cooking with Kenshin, part two. How to make Taco Bell. How the hell you make a Taco Bell? You need crunchy, ta crunchy tacos, soft tacos? Probably. You made a burrito? Probably. So, nah, hey. I think he's going to do the crunchy tacos. Hey, so if you ready? I'm ready. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Cue the intro. Let me draw the boat, bitch. You know I wrecked the shit. Get it by the boat. Watch a nigga make it flip. Hey, that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss another video let's get right into it oh i knew you'd be back okay. you just couldn't resist we are back with some more cory x cooking he got bad head oh yeah he said fuck it i'm just gonna get on this motherfucking and record this one yeah he was like fuck it i feel like this is what i feel like doing so i'm gonna do it Living by myself is hard. Being unable to cook makes it even harder. My name is Corey Kenshin, and this is my journey to becoming a better cook. So last time I said in the comment section, I want you guys to tell me what to cook for the next episode. And um, I guess y'all was feeling a little caliente because we are cooking tacos, baby. That's right, Taco Bell, prepare to get served. So let's see if I can make a successful taco. So how you feeling today, Corey? You feeling pretty good? Feeling pretty good, yeah. Well good, you ready for some Corey X cooking? And yeah, I know, I know, I gotta get dressed. But check this out, y'all wanna see a trick? So just look out my nose real quick, like, yeah. Hey, look at Crispy with it, So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is check out what the box says. We need to brown meat in skillet, drain, add seasoning mix in a three-fourths cup of water. See, I did good, you guys. You guys taught me that I shouldn't put beef in boiling hot water. So with the beef already thawed out, we're already off to a great start this episode. I just don't know why I don't do the dishes before I do this. <laughs> That's what I said. You will be asking us. We got four plates, four cups. It can just be us. We all this is full. Alright, so I'm just gonna lay it on there. Just like that. This is a lot better than last time. A lot better. I'm gonna <laughs> flip this in half. Just because I like doing it that way. And then I'm gonna flip this bad boy on over. Oh, look there. at that brown. I think I did it for too long. Oh, see, too see, long how, see how I can just freaking slice through this? Remember okay. last time? Yeah, I don't know what that was. He tried though. I am gonna throw a little salt and pepper. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to season it. You know, put a little salt and pepper on there, just like that, you know. Number two says we need to meanwhile bake taco shells in an oven baking sheet at 300 and microwave to tortillas. Now that the beef is brown, we can go ahead and drain this. In you go. All right, then we can come over here, grab the beef, pour it back in. And we add the seasoning mix, like so. There we go. Pour that on in there. Smell just like that, good man. So with the seasoning mix, we need, uh, what is that? What does that say? Uh, uh, three-fourths cup of water. And guess what a brother got this time? You guessed it. Measuring cups. Hey. Hey, fill up the oh, half cup. Oh, yeah. I know a microwave. Then we get ourselves a one-fourth cup. Like so. Like so. Very good. You know, you guys really did help out. You know, this series is about needing me a better cook, just like I said in the last episode. Oh. And I can't learn how to get better without you guys' feedback. The comment system is what's going to make me a master chef because I have 85,000 people teaching me how to cook. How can I fail? Mm, got a nice looking, nicely darkened colored meat over here. 
getting uh, all seasoned up. Alright, you guys. I'm gonna continue to simmer this. I think I got about five or six more good minutes with this nice, delicious meat. We're gonna go to a commercial break, but I will see you back here very soon. <laughs> Is your gear not on fleek? Friends teasing you about clothes? Well, buy your Corey Kenshin gear today. Link in the description. Uh, the way that it looks. Now we're gonna transfer it to this bowl. I've never seen a cleaner bowl of beef in my life. Hey. Still got refried beans and rice to cook. Okay. Mmm, it looks so delicious. Um, how do you cook this? <laughs> I decided I'm gonna forego the rice. Uh, I don't want the beef to get cold and it just seems like a lot of work. So we're gonna press on to the next step, which is spread each tortilla with four teaspoons of Velveeta cheese sauce topped with taco shell. Fold tortillas over shells filled with meat, lettuce, tomatoes. And we do our thing. We got our uh, Velveeta cheese sauce in here. Mmm. We're just gonna spread it on like so. That was one, two, Three, make sure you heat up your cheese sauce or else it won't spread as nicely. So that's four teaspoons for the first one. Look at us, like we painting some suns or something. <laughs> and now with the taco shawl, we need to take this and just fold it on over like so. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh oh. It's supposed to do that, so. It's all good, Corey. It's all good. We did this one really freaking good, guys. Oh, Look, at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Dang. All right. There we are. I'm going to add my meat. Ooh. This meat looking extra juicy. I feel like I freaking killed this meal. Also, if you're wondering why I don't have that many toppings, because I don't like tomatoes and the other crap. Check this out, guys. Woo. Your boy went to work. Sorry, but who the f who in the hell puts refried beans on top? Of that just don't even look right. That don't even sound right. That don't. Mm -mm. That's. Mm -mm. It's a no for me. All right, chef hat can come off. <sighs> of course, I forgot the drink. Hold up, y'all yeah, don't like this. Bam! Just for the occasion. Got some ya yaritos. So let's say grace. And let's do it. First tacos all by myself. Oh my god! You got the soft tortilla exterior, but when you bite into it, you forget that we put the taco shells in it. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see what Yarito's talking about. I don't know how I'm gonna open this. Hammer never fails, baby. Mm. Mm. Nothing like a brewski, you know what I'm saying, dudes? Made in Mexico. Yo, my man Yaritos wasn't playing with him. This week, we freaking smashed it. I have got to give this dinner 10 tacos out of 10. Would definitely eat again, hands down. Perfect score. Five that up, everybody. I learned my lesson from the beef from last week. That's thanks to you guys. Those comments, man. Them comments. Well, you know what it's time for. What do you want to see me cook next? Let me know in the comment section. The comment with the most thumbs up is what I'm going to be cooking for you guys next time. For a noob cooker like me, this is pretty hard to do. So if you want to help out the series, go ahead and sis 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 Samurai. Slice that like button. Subscribe today to join the Samurai. And until next time, my brothers and sisters. Mm. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey. He did his thing this time. I liked it. He did his fucking thing with some tacos. Some tacos did look good. Right? I'm going to make me some tacos small. I'm going to make some tacos. You want some tacos? I'm going to make us some tacos. Hell yeah, I want some tacos. Hell yeah, but hey, we'll catch y'all next time. Peace out. We out. By the boat, watch a nigga make it flip. I, make it flip. I ain't a little boat, but I just want night the bitch. One night, one night.